A while back, we did a segment on financial advice for women, addressing the number of unique financial challenges women face. But the fact that we singled out the ladies does not mean that men are perfect when it comes to money. And here to tell us the top five things that men can do better when it comes to money is financial advisor Rob Wilson of Wilson Insight. So, you know, there are some unique challenges for each gender. And so what do men have to face? Well, I know the guys may be getting a little mad at me this morning because I'm kind of, you know, dishing the dirt on them. But look, men seem to come, you know, be born with this idea that they're just supposed to know a couple of things. They're supposed to know how to grill, how to procreate, and how to manage money. Um, but that's not necessarily the case, and that can lead to a lot of bad decisions. And men also tend to be overconfident when it comes to money. And the, and the worst thing that can come from someone who thinks they know it all is to actually be right about something. That leads to overconfidence. And you know when you get overly confident, there's nothing wrong with confidence, but when right. you get overly confident, that can tend to make you, uh, have you make some bad decisions, you know, over time. Uh, and the last thing is, men uh, tend to have a high tolerance for risk. Now, this might sound a little bit stereotypical, but typically men are interested in power and, and women are a little bit more interested in security. And right. so, because men are striving for more power, more money, they tend to take on more risk. And again, that can lead you to make perhaps some bad decisions over time. And you say that there are some common mistakes, the top five, one of them being concentrating on hot investments. What does that mean? Yeah, so men like to go to the barber shop or uh, to a cocktail party and talk about this hot stock that they heard about and it went up 20 or 30 percent. But here's the thing, the hot stock doesn't necessarily remain the hot stock forever. And by the time you hear about it on the news or in the newspaper, it might be a little bit too late. So you don't want to concentrate on the hot thing. You want to figure out what's next uh, when you're thinking about where to put may also lead into your next uh, mistake that men make, and that is uh, trading too often. Oh, yeah. See, men tend to think that they can outsmart the market, and so they're <laughs> in and out of different stocks, sometimes on the very same day. Uh, so men trade a lot more than women, but it has not been proven that that over um, amount of trading leads to better returns. And on the other side of this, there's the holding on too long. All right, so you remember the old Kenny Rogers song, right? You got to know when to hold them, you got to know when to fold them, right? But a lot of men don't like to admit that they made a mistake, and so you hold on to it too long. The issue with that is when you let something go down 50, 60, 70 percent, uh, it's difficult to recover from that. Right. So if you made a mistake, you cut your losses and you move on from there. All right, this is something that isn't just about money either. Not asking for advice. Okay, so here's the thing. This is almost what we talked about before. Men don't like to to ask for advice, and an honorable mention of things that men don't like to ask advice for is driving, driving somewhere, right. right? So honorable mention to trying to find how to get somewhere without a GPS or asking for uh, direction. So what's funny is, um, as a financial advisor, a lot of my non-athlete clients, 70 or 80 percent of them are women because women aren't afraid to ask for help. So for guys, you got to put your ego away and just go get it, get some advice and don't be afraid to ask questions. Because the bottom line is that advice could help make you more money and that's that's the what the goal here. is at the right. end of the day. Yeah. Ignoring health issues. How does this play into money issues? Uh, well, look, m most people, but men in particular, and look, I'm guilty of this too, don't like to go to the doctor. The mm -hmm. issue with this is, though, you can't get wealthy if you're not healthy. If you can't get up and go to work every day or right. work inside your business, uh, it's going to be hard for you to build wealth over time. So you cannot ignore your health as an important part of your wealth plan. All right, so we're talking about the mistakes. Let's talk about the tips now for the guys out there. Okay, biggest, number one thing is you have to check your ego at the door, okay? <laughs> it's don't know. It's okay if you weren't born and just blessed with this ability to manage money. It's okay. Ask questions, but check your ego at the door so that people can actually give you the help that you need. And also seek the advice of an advisor. Yeah, go, go ahead and ask them. Look, I'm not an expert at working out, right? So if I want to get in shape, uh, I'm going to go get a personal trainer, somebody right. who's in this day in and day out, knows what they're doing. They're the expert. And just tell me what I need to do because I'm coachable, right? You need to be coachable. Go get, it, get some good advice. And that's a great way to compare it. Invest in your health. And this is, again, goes along with the mistake that you said. You, you have to do this. You know what? One of the number one causes of bankruptcy in the United States is health-related financial issues. Now, I know a lot of diseases and things can't be prevented, but many of them can through lifestyle changes like more exercise right. and going to to the doctor and figuring out what's wrong with you. You can't control any of these problems if you don't know the, that you have them. So invest in your health, meaning get better food, exercise, and please just go to the doctor. Uh, this is interesting. Ensure yourself. 
Yeah, look, something may happen to you, okay? So you got to make sure that you have health care. And I know it's a big debate in the country right, right now, right, but yeah. to the extent that you can, make sure that you have the proper health care so that if something catastrophic happens, it's not going to harm your family. But you also need to have life insurance. You want to make sure that if, God forbid, something happens to you, your family's going to be okay on the other side. All right, great. Thank you so much. Rob Wilson again of Wilson Insight and regular PTL contributor. Thanks for being here. And for more information, you can find a link to his website at kdka.com slash PTL.